Okay, the first step that we're going to get into is back brushing the face and inside the ears. I like to take a wire brush that I've take, taken to a uh, grinder and pull down the bristle length about halfway. What that does is it gives me a good stiff brush and then I'll come in and get fairly aggressive. If the animal is good and dry, which it should be before you start your finish work, this will allow us to paint in through the hair down to the skin. I like to back brush around the eye area the muzzle up underneath the chin and the inside of those ears. Probably a good idea to take an air hose and blow the inside of that ear out. Make sure you remove any debris. We've gone ahead and back brushed the entire muzzle around the eyes. We've combed out any of the debris that might be in those ears. Uh, hit them with acetone to break down any of the grease. We're going to start out with bright flesh and we're going to just take and blend this around the eyes. Get a nice even tone and don't worry about getting a little overspray. You want to kind of, the reason for back brushing around this portion of the head is to actually get some fleshy tones down in through the hair. And we'll take a regulator needle and we'll work inside of the ear, pulling the hairs back and painting the skin. We will press on with the eye. First thing we want to do is take some lacquer thinner and a brush, clean that eye off, and as they dry, you might have some small amounts of clay or debris that's on that eye. Very carefully, come in and clean that off. We've mixed up some Magic Sculpt with brown pigmentation, and what we're gonna do is go in and get the crease between the eyelid and the glass, both upper and lower, we're going to fashion this coruncle area, fill this slight little gap that we have here in the lacrimal crease and create ourselves a nictitating membrane in the front corner of that eye. Do not overbuild this coruncle in the corner of that eye. Once again, if you get a fresh specimen on the ground that you can go up and look at, if you have a pen, where you have live animals, get in there and look at some of the finer details and you'll be able to pull that off in your mount. This nictitating membrane is gonna be a small membrane in the front corner of the eye, angled in on the top, and it should just about follow the contour and shape of the bottom of this eyelid, where this contour starts at the back, has a low point, and as it works up, we're gonna follow that. Now on the tear duct, we want to fill this slight gap that there is, but we don't want it appear to, be, to appear to be completely closed off. Okay, once we've got our material in place, we'll come in with, I like to use a flat shader, good firm bristles, will allow me to put some detail in this that a cheaper brush wouldn't. We've got our magic sculpt on the eyes. The next step that we're going to do is apply some Mod Podge gloss to the nose. And the initial coat that I put on here is just going to be a sealer coat. So we're going to go over, and this is designed so that the flat spots on the nose pad itself are filled. So we'll have a nice uniform area to start with. The nodules when an animal is alive are very plump, very round. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our Mod Podge applicator and try to recreate this texture within this nose pad. And we are slowly but surely just about done with the nose. It'll take two or three coats for us to get the desired texture on here. And then we'll come back through and reapply that here in just a few minutes after it dries.